because Sophia is more um, yeah, focused on, on control or understanding of the existing world, while in the Paramita is more about the, the, the transformation. Okay, I see no more questions coming up. So, thank you all very much, and I'll try to find out the leftover questions of last time. Collect, I think I answered all the questions for today, and I'll send you another overview uh, for next week. Hanka? Yeah. Hanka? <laughs> I, I, uh, I sent you a message regarding uh, your um, talk about the regression therapy. Um, okay. Is it also possible that you don't go back to a previous life? but you, you try to go back, but then, because I found myself suddenly inside an animal, could it also be something else, that during regression you don't go back to a previous life, but you go just inside an animal? Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, also regressing into an animal, I did, I had some personal regressions where I went into a stone and a tree, and those were very um, nice experiences. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Uh, it, it's often also part of the of the uh, of the focus. Why you, why do you go into a regression? Because you you tend to find what you're looking for, and the energy you have at the moment you in a way leave your yeah your your boundaries of the, of your current uh, incarnation is in a way pulls you towards that those memories. Uh, so you can guide uh, by your intention or by meditation before the regression, uh, what type of life you will experience. Uh, one of the things which can happen though is that you turn into some, run into some um, blockages uh, because if there are spirits still connected to a previous life or are there still big traumas which block you, your normal access to those memories or to those lives, those have to be uh, worked through first or transformed first before all the powers and memories can uh, can come back to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, I, I'll just say one more thing about regressing into, uh, into an animal. Um, because often uh, one reason for us to, uh, uh, to contact power animals or to go back to an animal life um, is to, because an animal has a certain uh, uh, outlook on life. It has a certain repertoire, a certain reality filter on how to deal with things. And often if we get too confused by our thoughts, we start to overthink everything, like, okay, what is the best thing to do? Uh, what is right? What is wrong? What is pure? What is impure? Um, we get into confusion and we get into a whole mental labyrinth. And um, our own animal nature, or going back to the animals, they give us a very pure and harmonious way of dealing with certain things. Um, so they are very much a guide to, uh, to harmonious interaction, both with yourself and with others. Okay. Well, thank you very much for listening, and I'll speak to you next week.